This quick tutorial will show you how to add MetaHumans to the MP system. You can load a pre-made or custom MetaHuman to your project via Quixel Bridge. Once downloaded, you'll get a bunch of pop-up messages asking you to install missing plugins. Click Enable Missing For All and additionally, under Settings, Plugins, Enable Groom and the Alembic Groom Importer to prevent compile errors. Now restart the editor as prompted. Back in Unreal, navigate through the MetaHuman folder structure and find the RTG MetaHuman base skeleton and in blueprint. Open the aim graph, select the retarget pose from mesh node, choose the MPS retargeter and compile, and we'll get a bunch of warnings. To fix those warnings, double-click the retargeter. We haven't defined the correct retarget source, hence the warnings, so select IK MetaHuman as the target. On the left-hand side you'll find the target's retarget pose. I've included the custom MetaHuman pose in the latest update called MH underscore pose, which should be selected by default. If it doesn't show up, you can import a pose through the Create button. The provided MetaHuman pose can be found under Character, Mannequin, Rig. Now press Run Retargeter to apply the changes. This looks a bit wonky now, because we have the short mesh selected. Pick the tall body NRW for the preview mesh. Now everything lines up. This custom pose tries to match the mannequin as good as possible. As you can see all the hands are aligned, however, the alignment isn't perfect, because the UE4 mannequin has some slightly different proportions. This is something you can further tweak. Safe and recompile the animation blueprint. All the warnings will be gone. Next, select the child blueprint MPS found in the blueprints folder and duplicate it. Delete all the functions in the event graph, except for the set material for the mesh. Assign the MI no render material to it. This will prevent the base mesh from showing up in the game, since we only want to see the meta human. Moving over to the viewport, you won't see no mesh, because the MPS master blueprint mesh is set to invisible to prevent spawn killing. We can temporarily bypass this by opening the master blueprint and disconnecting the nodes within the construction script. Reopen the new child blueprint for the changes to take effect. You should now be able to see the mesh. Delete the Cine camera and the vest. This will cause an error in the construction script because the set leader pose component node is empty. Ignore this for now. Open the imported MetaHuman Blueprint. Copy over all meshes as well as the LOD sync component. Place them inside the mesh so that they are a child of mesh. Zero out location and rotation. The MetaHuman should now align well with the mannequin. Now assign the RTG Anim BP to the Anim class of the body. This is the animation blueprint we have edited before, and it now causes the mesh to follow the mannequin. Now we'll also need to tell the torso, legs, face and feet to follow the body. So drag those out into the construction script and link them to the target of the set leader pose component node and set the body to the new leader bone component. To test this in-game, we'll need to assign this blueprint to our controller. Open game mode MPS found in the core folder structure. Find the spawn players function inside the event graph and the respawn player logic and assign the new child blueprint as the new player. The metahuman works well in third person view, however in first person view, the eyes and beard disrupt the view. So we want to hide the head and its children in first person view and show them in third person view. Go to the event graph of the child blueprint and add a delay node after they begin play so that the metahuman has time to load. Now grab the face mesh, create a set visibility node and link it up. Make sure propagate to children is enabled. 
Next, we'll refer to the camera switch key bind, which is Z by default. Create a branch asking for is TPC and duplicate the set visibility function from the face twice. Check new visibility from the true branch and leave it coming from the false branch. Now that we have a view, we see the next problem. Some of the fingers are messed up. This is because the chain mapping of the IK retargeter faultily assigned chains to the metacarpal bones of the metahuman. So open that MPS retargeter and simply assign none to all the metacarpal chains. This completes the tutorial. Overall, this is probably the quickest approach to add metahumans. Thanks for watching.